Welcome back. This is video two on creating an eye. And in today's video, in, in the last video, I guess I should say, is we learned how to invert cut the pupil into the eye. And now we're going to create the black that goes over the eye because we only really want that pupil to show up into the white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my eye, and I know that this is the eye because I can open up the thumbnail and see there's the eye and there's a pupil, as well as I've named them, this is the eye. And I'm going to make a duplicate of that, control copy, control paste. Now I'm going to attach that duplicate to the eye peg, and I'm going to go inside into the properties and choose drawing. Now what you'll notice is all the vector settings are showing all of the layers. So each of these um, layers of my drawings have their own on and off switch, if you will. And I'm going to put the black area on the overlay. So therefore, the only thing I want to see in my vector options is the overlay. So I'm going to turn this one off, and I'm going to turn this one off, and I'm going to turn this one off. So that new drawing, I only want to see the overlay. I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to go into the drawing layer and find that eye. There it is. And I'm going to copy it. Control C. And I'm going to put it in the overlay layer. Control V. Now I only want the black, and you can see that I have the white fill, which was the pupil, and the black detail. I'm going to just sort of delete that, delete the white, so I'm left with only that. And now this is going to sit, and let's just go into our camera so you can kind of see it happening live. There's that overlay art I just created, and I want it to sit on top of the pupil. Now we know that this cable makes the pupil disappear or reappear, so I want this piece to be sitting on top. And now we have a a pupil that's invert cut into the line art, but we have an overlay, an art layer, sitting on top to make the eye look finished. Thank you very much. In our next video, we'll take a look at how to do drawing substitutions.